All right, everybody, so I'm back. Listen, if you're anything like myself and you have this stuff and you got a whole bunch of gear and so on, you're constantly revamping, right? You're always adding to, maybe even taking away from, which I know I do quite a bit. Um, one thing that I, I believe I lack, which is getting better, is my first aid kits. Uh, there's one for the house, one for the car, and I have two small ones that uh, one I carry in my pack and another one that goes on my tactical vest. All right, so I always have some. Uh, something that was, uh, I have, they're loaded with what I need, okay, which is, again, always being added to or taken away from. One thing that I was lacking that I found very, very important to have if not for my fellow hiker or shooter, but my uh, myself, right, was a tourniquet. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't know much about tourniquets. I do know about stopping blood. I mean, I you know, I had paracord at the time I had a belt. I didn't carry a gun some time ago, and I had a belt that was a lot more flexible. Now I have a... Uh, an SOE belt, which if you know about the belt, they're very, very stiff, or like an Aries belt, but I have the SOE one. They're very stiff. You can't wrap that around your leg and stop bleeding, right? Um, Paracord work, a shirt, obviously, I mean, there's a hundred different ways, shirt, tight, stick, and you, t you know. Um, so I thought, you know, why not just get some tourniquets, right? So I looked around and I got a couple tourniquets, cat, right? Um, nice. Nice tourniquets. Um, yeah, so it's a cat. What you, combat application tourniquet, right? Um, I actually grabbed a whole bunch of them. They're in every first aid kit. They're in my pack. They're on my vest. And um, and one thing that I'm trying to work out is like how to carry them. I see people with an elastic band around it, but I'm like, mm, yeah. I do some rough stuff. That, like like up on this ridge, I truck through a bunch of stuff and elastic band is going to break unless there's something about the elastic band i don't know but the elastic band will break and this is going to fall off and then i get shot accidentally hopefully and uh or i fall i break a leg a, a compound fracture it breaks my uh, femoral artery i'm playing with a knife hey look at the you know, oh, well if it's, if it's your neck right this ain't gonna help anyway you understand what i'm saying um I need some tourniquets. Looked around, talked to a lot of people. Now remember, I work at a hospital, and I talked with the uh, the a couple of trauma doctors. I t I spoke with um, several from the, that are in the military as well, and I spoke to some uh, nurses and a doctor that is on life flight on the uh, the rescue helicopter there, and they all said this particular brand. Now there are others out there. Uh, the soft T probably works just as well, right? But People that are in the field, people that are doing this on a regular basis, they're carrying these. Or when they go out and they do stuff, because they're into kind of what I'm into, uh, separate from myself, but they are, and they carry these. So I thought, well, you know what? If it's good enough for you, it's going to be good enough for me, right? So I did. I bought a handful, probably about six of these, right? But then I needed a way to carry it. And as I was saying, I don't like the rubber band thing, you know? Um... So I looked around and uh, a company, as you know, made here in America by Americans with American products. I really like that when I can get that. Uh, Tactical Taylor, right? Tactical Taylor made in the United States, right? Really nice nylon webbing. I believe it's about two inches. Velcro, or as they call hook and loop nowadays, right? No more Velcro. And uh, incredible stitching. The stitching is really, really superb. I mean, really nice. I mean, this thing is, it, this, it's very, very well made. If this is on me or my vest and my tourniquet is in it, I'm not worried about either sun degradation, is that the word, uh, to break down the, my tourniquet or rolling in the mud, the dirt, and uh, or being held on by an elastic band. I know by having this, it's not going to go anywhere, right? Very, very well made. Nice. It's brown. It fits my pack. Goes with my other patches. And uh, it, like I said, it is a, a made in the United States. They do have 
a uh, elastic so you can put it in there and it'll be tight around your tourniquet hook and loop very well sewn hopefully the camera's getting that okay and, and really it, it's, it's very simple it, it's just very very well made right but it's a very simple pouch now a beautiful thing that separates tactical Taylor from let's say some other companies uh, I mean I love be as tactical and max edition um, Max Fedition has the attack ties. They're separate. You lose them. And I mean, and if you ever tried to use a tack tie, if you ever tried to kind of weaving through is one thing. If you if you know how to weave them through, you know you kind of get. And they have tools, but I'm not I'm not gonna buy the tool. And then you gotta like, it, it's no fun. Okay, this here. All right, the Malice clip is patented. This is made by. Tactical Taylor. They make this this stuff and they make these. And when you buy their pouches, you get these. They have short ones and long ones. All right. Now I just have this through quickly because I wanted to demonstrate. But when you weave this through, all right, and it's very hot plastic. This 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 isn't gonna break. I'm telling you. And it's one little there, and it's in. It's in. Obviously, it would be you know I've been carrying mine right about here on my pack I'm going to be changing that to the opposite shoulder because I have the SC knife on one side um, now in order to undo that it ain't coming out I'm telling you it's not coming out to undo that you have to put something in there lift that up and it pop it comes off right very very simple let's do that again see put a knife in there maybe a knife's not the not the best choice but it works. I don't want to cut my finger. That's why I'm being a little extra cautious here. Lift that tab up. Bang. You're done. And you can take it off. Transport. You can put it on your vest. You can put it on your bag. Um, I did only buy one because I wanted to check it out. Wanted to test it. See how I like it. See if it takes up a lot of real estate on my back, my pack or my chest rig. And it does not. Um, I'm very happy with it. I will be purchasing more for all of my other uh, tourniquets. All right, making sure I'm not I'm, I'm alone still. Um, Tactical Tail made, made here in the U.S. Uh, good, good stuff. I got this. Also off of eBay. I've been going there lately. I used to do eBay a lot and I kind of backed off. I didn't like the way it was going. It was changing and, and I'm back to get some good deals. I bought this Tactical Taylor from a company which I got my SC5 from called uh, EM Gear. They have a website. I believe it's emgear.com. They have a eBay page and the stuff is... Um, about the same, if not a little bit cheaper. I think there's no shipping uh, on their eBay page. But I, again, I got this. Oh God, I don't know. Um, Ten bucks, I think. Nine dollars and some change. I think about nine dollars. Ten bucks, roughly ten dollars. I might be off by one, maybe two dollars. If I pay twelve, still worth it. If I paid fifteen still worth it obviously cheaper the better right good american-made quality incredible customer service em gear very quickly sent an email thank you for your business sent me a tracking number was shipped out the same day not the next day the same day and then um it arrived within two days or maybe three days at the very most and i was usually when i purchase something either ebay or the internet somewhere on the internet you know a, a website or ebay i i I'm okay with one week. I'll wait a week. A week is fine. Um, if I needed it tomorrow, that's my fault. You know, I should have ordered it a while back. I'll wait a week. A week is good. Two days, three tops. Same thing with this. Three days, tops. EM Gear, great site. Go check them out. They're on eBay, plus they're on the, the, the internet. They have a regular website. Really, really like this Malice Clip comes with all their pouches the bigger the pouch the longer the bigger the malice clip um, I will have this malice clip forever what I'm going to be doing is just 
that when I, if for some reason I'm not using this and I store it away or I need to put it down, I'm just gonna clip that. It's gonna stay with it. Yeah. And and I'll be good. And we got snow on there. What I need now is a uh, a patch. I want to put a little red cross here so people know. Hello, tourniquet. You know, and uh, and that's it. That's it. I wear it here for now. I'm going to be transferring it over to uh, probably here, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to try it out. You know, I'm always trying, learning, and okay, I'll wear it here for a little while, and eh, I don't really care for that. What if it's somewhere I can't get it, and I don't have time to remove the pack and look, right? Uh, anyway, always learning, always trying. Um, go check them out, Tactical Taylor, incredible stuff. eBay, EM Gear. Great people, great communication, customer service, really good prices too. And uh, and that's it. I'm done talking. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate you watching my videos. And uh, I got a lot more stuff. I'm going to be here for a while. I'm going to go down over there. There's some wood. I want to play around a little bit with some other things I brought. And uh, I'll be bringing you more videos, okay? Thank you. Be well. Stay safe. And um, we'll talk soon. All right? Bye.